Hello, welcome to another one. I've just done with something really, really stupid. I started talking without the mic on, so there was no volume. Yeah, uh, we are somewhere a little bit different than usual. We are back out in the hills in Snowdonia, and I'm buzzing. Uh, I'm going to do this video based on something generic. So we're going to go. We're going to make this video one camera, one lens, one mountain, and one man. Hello. <laughs> if you don't know who this guy is, this is Mr. Nick Liversey. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I've known him for a while now, but this is the first time we've actually got sort of close. We're still social, social distancing, distancing, so we're trying not please. to breathe in each other's breath, and we haven't shook hands or anything. Um, so, yeah, we're still under the lockdown. Wales is open for the public. Unfortunately, the public have been a bit stupid with it. I've come over. I'm stopping at Nick's place. I'm in my van, but I'm actually stopping on the property. So, uh, yeah, we're not out in the open. Um, yeah, he's going to take us up Mole Shabod. Mole Shabod. Mole Shabod. Um, from here, it looks pretty scary. I must, uh, I must say, but he, he assures me that it's going to be pretty easy and not a bad walk. Oh, you'll be fine. Bit of scrambling, but fine. yeah, I'm actually totally looking forward to this. It's going to sort of do something for the fitness levels. I'm glad to see this guy is out of fitness, so uh, <laughs> he's not going to be racing ahead of me. Supporting the lockdown look. Supporting the lockdown. Yeah, the yeah. lockdown. The lockdown spread. We all got a bit of that. I got a bit of hill fatness, <laughs> not not fitness. <laughs> hill fatness. Um, so yeah, he's going to take us up one of his local spots. We've literally walked from his door, which is absolutely fantastic. We've been through the woods, we've gone across some hills, we've got warmed up, got a bit of sweat going, so uh, ready for it. So I'm not going to talk too much going up the hill, because I'm using the X-T4 to talk and take photographs. So midges. it's going to be... <laughs> the midges, the midges are going to destroy me. So yeah, I'm, I'm not quite au fait with all the uh, technical side of the X-T4, so I'll do the best I can. Most of the film is going to be done at the top, when and if I eventually get there. And uh, yeah, we'll see when we get there. Now I'm filming on the GoPro, so this is going to be an interesting video filming on different things with different volume. Nick's just told me we've got across the stream. Yay! Yeah. But it's definitely an uphill walk. Oh, well, he made that look easy. There we go, no water yet. Yeah, it's a good walk. It's quite steep so far, but it's going to get steeper, I'm sure. So right, I'm going to put this camera down because I can't do both at the same time. So, speak to you in a bit. I'm still on the GoPro and we're not quite at the lake yet. I assume it's just over this ridge, is it? Yeah, and it's a clean, not a it's lake. It's a clean, it's not a lake. Got that one wrong, didn't I, this time? <laughs> it's a clean, clean. La, 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 la. You know how it is. He's out of breath as well, it's not just me. Got a bit of a sweat on, but the scenery here is fantastic. We've got the river running all the way down. We've got no shortage of water. I'm just out of breath, and the legs are starting to feel it now. It's a little bit more of a climb, as you can see here. But yeah, furling. I just said to Nick, I said I needed this, and he, I think he did as well. So yeah, when I talk to you again, I promise you, I'm going to be by the lake and it'll be proper volume. Like I promised, should have better volume now, better picture. I'm back on the XT4, and uh, we're at the lake. We're at the first, the first hurdle. That last little bit down here was a bit of a scramble. Definitely put a bit of a bit of tension on the old legs. 
but it's good, it's really good. That's where we're heading, that point up there. So uh, I'm completely at the mercy of this man down here. He's just, <laughs> he's just toying with the idea of getting his drone out. He's like, it's a bit windy, so get it out. So if he loses it, I better give him the camera, and I. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but the views up here, try not to trample all over his heather because you've got the heathers growing around us, which is really nice. But yeah, the views up here are absolutely stunning. I would tell you what they all are, but I haven't got a clue. So I'm not even going to try. But yeah, it's fantastic. Definitely looking forward to being getting to the top. I know it's going to be a scramble. I know it's going to be a bit of hard work, but it'll be worth it in the end. Something I can talk about later on. Let's get out of this wind a little bit. It's a bit chilly up there now. I've stopped walking and I'm getting my breath. Had a drop of water. I might see if I can find a little snack bar just to keep the energy up. He's going for it. Yeah. He's going for it. He's got, he's got a new fancy one. Look, Mrs. C, look at this nice, fancy new it's drone. It's only the Air 2. Uh, it's only an Air 2. But they're good. <laughs> if you're used to a Mavic Air, and these things are absolutely brilliant. See, see, babe, see, why? It's an investment, Mrs. C. Because <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't got enough I'll, kit already, I'll just, has he? <laughs> I'll just cut all that out, because she'll kill me. You know she'll murder me. The handset's a bit bigger. I'll give him that. That's a yeah, but the way the phone goes on the top there is much better. better. I haven't got yeah. those flipping clamps. Is that one things. of those really ancient iPhone 5s? It's an iPhone SE. Whoa. Whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. It's not got a SIM in it. I only use it for this. He lives in Wales. He hasn't got a signal, so it's pointless. I've got a signal. I've got a telly. <laughs> no telly. No, he doesn't even listen to the radio. i got sheep. i got sheep. i got lots of Don't even go on about sheep. the sheep. <laughs> we, know what the, we know what the Welsh are like with their sheep. They're very protective over their sheep. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop talking, grab a little snack, and uh, just soak this up, take it in. Uh, I will promise to get a photograph today. One, at least. Definitely one. I thought I'd bring you to the top of this little rock just to show you this before we go any further. But there's my view I've been looking at for the last few minutes. And the light's just catching the mountain behind me now. Look at that. The light's just coming down the side there. That looks absolutely fantastic. So we've got some really good light. Really good light at the moment. We've got the drone up. He's got his drone out. <laughs> filming me, filming you, filming me, filming you. That looks really good. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I've missed this. I've missed the mountains, I've missed the hills. I'm no mountain climber like Nick, but yeah, this is uh, really, really refreshing. And chilly. <laughs> <laughs> I've got me, I've got me Santa. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell, there's some big steps. <laughs> Oh god, yeah. That's line. Right, well, you find me now a little bit further up the hill. Still got a way to go. We still got to make our way up there. And that is uh, going to be qu quite a scramble, I would have thought. But uh, yeah, it's thoroughly enjoyable, but my God, it's, it's hard going. It's not as easy as you think following Mr. Livesey up these places, I tell you. He's uh, got a drone out again and there's a couple of other people just walking past at the moment. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. My legs feel like jelly at the moment as well, which is uh, nothing quite so strange, is there? But yeah, top of my legs feel like jelly. The rest of me is all right, but uh, I don't know. It's pretty, pretty good. I put my coat on for a minute because there's a little bit of a chill in the air once you've been sitting down for a little while. I've taken on a few resources, a bit of sugar, build up a bit of energy, a little bit of chicken. Uh, but yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm sure he's trying to knock me off the hill. He just hasn't got the bottle to get too close to me. 
<laughs> There's a little patch of light now, just catching the top of the hill. Just, uh, just, uh, just. Uh, we have definitely looking up the hill or up the mountain. We're about 2,220 feet at the moment, so we've uh, we've ascended quite a bit. I can see where I first spoke to you. If you look down into the distance, somewhere about there, there's a, a small patch of grass or uh, dry, dry stuff in the woods, just at the end of the tree line. That's where we started off and we were about 700 feet. So, you know, we've come up quite a way, to be honest, but I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not the easiest walk. It might be for him, but it's not for me. It's definitely, tough on the legs because they're big steps and you're not they're not sort of steps either you're sort of making your way up between the rocks so it's definitely interesting it's a good challenge that's for sure see his drone going over now can you see his drone there give him a wave as he goes past Nick decided to bring his drone which made it a bit easier for me so I didn't have to bring mine it's just one less thing for me to carry so I will borrow some of uh, Nick's footage and put it on for you so you get to see the the full uh, the full shebang at Shabob and all that He's, he's concentrating down there. Look, you can see him concentrating. <laughs> he's doing this. I don't want to lose my drone concentration face. We all do it. Right, I'm going to shut up talking anyway. You haven't come all this way just to, to watch me ramble on. When I get to the top, I will take a picture. I've taken a couple of snapshots here anyway, so I'll show you them as I go along, just to show you the, the views and the scenery that I'm looking at. Even going out that way, it's just it's so cool. It's so nice. And when we're down on this little ridge just here, there's no wind as well. Look at the light over there. I'm going to zoom in over there. I'm going to cut a quick snapshot of that. So uh, bear with me. All handheld as well. I'm going to carry on recording because he's still recording me. He's getting me standing in these some, some poses, posing for him on the top of the hill here. That's why the red coat's on in all fairness. And uh, yeah, he's uh, been taking some pictures of me stood up on the top of the rock, which is pretty good, pretty epic. I'm gonna see me ending up having to use one for me banner photograph, I would have thought. And uh, it's all good stuff. If you don't know Nick or you don't know of Nick, I'd like to know why you don't know of him. I'm gonna try and get down here without dropping my camera. Nick has just recently gone self-employed, as want of a better word. He's uh, given up his job in the cafeteria at Mel Shabob. Oh, Shabod. Shabob? Shabod? Shabod. 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 He's given up his job in the cafe, which is where we know him from. Um, so if you're heading to the cafe expecting to see his grumpy little face serving you, um, you're breakfast, out you're out of luck. <laughs> He's not there anymore. You'll have to get someone He's else now, to tell um, you to... He's now going to work to his way to making himself a fantastic business in mountain explorations. Well, I'm a qualified mountain leader, photographer, obviously. Photographer, so... Writer. Do a bit of this and a bit of that. It's the that that you don't want to know about, but... But if you but want yeah, it, he's he's it, into into the mountains, aren't you? So. Yes, they're my life. If photographers want to come to places like this that they're not confident about, then, you know, give me a shout yeah. and... Then I would take you wherever you want to go. I wouldn't have come up here. I would have stopped halfway before I got to the end of these beginning of these rocks. I'd have stopped. I'd been like, no, I'm not bothering with that. But <laughs> but no, he's uh, yeah, he's a good he's a good guide if nothing else. So <laughs> a bit, good inspiration. Right, up, right, matey. <laughs> he's uh, if he can do it, I can do it. That's it now. No, he's um, he's working his way to being uh, famous of the hills. I already am. <laughs> you cheeky get. <laughs> right, I'm going to shut up talking because I need to conserve some energy. I need to get up there. Give us a wave. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. This is a right test, isn't it, this? Like a mountain goat, he's gone. Doesn't pay to have size 12 feet, that's for sure.
See how we made that look easy? <laughs> oh. I don't even know how he got his foot up there. Where did you get your foot? <laughs> right. This one. Right foot. Your right foot? Yeah, Or rely on your arms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got grippier than boots than me. <sighs> He's trying to kill me now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm falling. It's all right. It's... I'm heavy breathing. I'm sweating, but I'm still full of energy. My legs definitely know we're going uphill, and it's things like this. It's going up there now. Oh, come on, let's go. Yeah. Look at this little mountain goat. So right leg in the gap, looking for some fingers. Oh my God, he's stretching the left leg over. Oh, oh, get the beer up there. <laughs> he says, I wish I had that extra bottle of wine last night. Come on, Paul, stop messing about. <laughs> All right, it's my turn. I'm going to clip you on. Let's see what happens here. Right. Right foot. Right foot on there. Stand up. Stand up. I'm just going to sit up back here. There's a finger pocket for a couple of fingers. Don't oh, yeah. That's my leg getting my leg up there. If you can't reach the holes, climb up to them. Them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that feel? There's one there. Get my knee on it. Straight, it's getting my legs that bent. It's the worst. I've got upper body strength, but I've only got umpa dumpa legs. Yeah, that's the with it really, because the arms get higher quicker than the legs, so yeah. try and save them as much as possible. A nice throtchy crack. A nice throtchy crack. Everyone needs a nice throtchy crack, don't they? Holy moly. It makes this look easy. All right. He made that look easy, didn't he? I'm going to go the easy way, he said. <laughs> Is it now? I'll have, a, I'll have a little bit of a scramble if we can get the boots to dry off on these rocks. My problem is getting the feet. Getting my feet up there, it's the hardest bit. Left foot, left foot, right foot, right foot, left foot. Ah. Right, it's definitely a tricky start. I've just got my camera on, I've just noticed I've scratched it. <laughs> Um, sorry about any wind noise, I'm back on the GoPro for a minute, just having another couple of seconds respite. The top part of the body's fine, my feet are fine, my ankles are fine, but my quads, my god, it's playing some 
putting some pressure on him. Got a bit jelly legged. He's laughing at me. He's, what's up with you? But we've just had a family go past. <laughs> and I know for a fact there's no way I'm not going up there now. I know how far up they've got. But you know, this is a hell of a walk. It's not really a footpath either. It's more like a just pick your own path as you're going. But the views, every time we stop, you look back, it's higher and higher, obviously. But absolutely fantastic. And the weather's playing ball. It's pretty good. It's just about the right temperature to be honest. When you stop, it's cool, but when you're moving, it's warm, you know, so you get that respite. But yeah, we're still going. Not far to go now, but it's all uh, directly uphill. I'll talk to you at the top. how it's done but we're gonna go this way because it looks like a few more steps this way Now at what point does this look like a pathway? At what point does this look like a good idea? At what point did I think I was doing the right thing coming up here with him? <laughs> We've got to go up that now. Stop moaning. Stop moaning, he says. Oh, one mouthful of water. Let's do it. You reckon we're about 10 minutes away? About five now. Five minutes, that's 15. Right, we're there. <sighs> jelly legs, jelly legs. <laughs> He was right, it was only five minutes. Trick points there. We'll wait until those guys move off before we go up there. But we're at the top, I'm just about to have a look over the top of this ridge. But unfortunately, Nick lied to me. The ice cream van isn't at the top here. There's no ice cream van, there's no pub, no cafe. So me and him are gonna fall out. But when we get to the bottom, shh, don't tell him. What a walk though, what a walk this is. God, and it's starting to open up now in front of me. And you got the wind noise. I'll get the other camera out and talk to you on that. I made it. <laughs> I'm, at the top. I'm, at, I'm actually at the top. The trig point's just there. But we're just taking shelter in this. What do you call these things? Well, this is a shelter, isn't just it? A, yeah, just a shelter it's, thing. It's, it's been... possible it could be the remains of a Bronze Age burial cairn. Really? It's possible, yeah. But it's not. 
probably not. <laughs> it might not be, but there are a lot of them are like on the Nansha Ridge and stuff. Are they? There's Bronze Age burial oh, right. cairns that's and over on the Hlian Peninsula. And that's pretty interesting. And on the Carnethai. Yeah, that's cool. That is. I like stuff. I like stuff like that. A little bit of a little bit of knowledge. See, there's another good. He's useful for knowledge. <laughs> He's told me all the names of these mountains. I've recognised two: Snowdon and Trifan. Trevan. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm not from around here, am I? I'm, I'm extremely <laughs> pedantic. Trevan. Pedantic. See, he's using some bloody big words as well, doesn't he, really? But yeah, no, Nick, he's absolutely brilliant. He knows all of this, all of this around here. It's just really good actually chatting and talking about it all. It's uh, pretty awesome. But uh, I'm now taking a five minute break and then we're going up on the trig point. Oh, he was doing a, he's got a guy up there then. You've got him on video. He's trying to do a head. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, he nearly headbutted it then. He nearly did. This is not a place to have an accident. Right, so yeah, we're going to get up there and then I'm going to have a look and see if I can get a, a shot of something. I've taken a couple of snaps as I've walked up the hill. Um, I almost had to. I will take one epic shot from up here. Maybe have the trig point in it just to mark the point. Um, but it's more, I'm seeing panos at the moment because I'm first time I've been here, I'm seeing the big vista. And it's hard to hone myself into something a bit tighter just because the vistas are so sort of breathtaking really especially over this way when you're looking at that snowden over the back there when you're looking at that and this is how high is this compared to that well snowden is a good 700 feet higher about 700 feet higher so it's a fair way higher than this but when you're looking from here you're sort of looking at eye level so it's pretty cool so i will take a few shots i'll set the camera up again i'm going to be handheld probably around an f8 f9 sort of f stop just to give me a bit of depth in the image and then that's it bracket the shot to make sure i've got all the all the uh exposure right can't go home empty handed can we Right, so Nick's actually got me posing again. You can see we've got our little friendly drone up here and uh, he's doing a little bit of footage, which I'm sure he'll be using on his website and stuff like that, which I'm more than happy to help if I can. And I'm also gonna use some of it for this vlog. What he's getting me to do is walk down this ridge and this ridge down here is absolutely fantastic. You can walk right the way down the ridge. You can walk right back up this direction, going back up towards the trig point back at the top there. We didn't go up to the trig point. There was too many people up there. But you can also see when you're here how quick and easy the weather can change. If you look over there behind us, you can see how really dark that is at the moment and really miserable. And if that floats in this direction, this could be quite a, quite a peak to be standing on. You can see over there that it's drifting in this way. So the good weather's starting to peter off now and it's a good time to sort of for people to start making their way back down. But what an absolutely fantastic place. I'm so pleased that I've been up here. Uh, we may pop back to the trig point before we head back down. I'm sure that's the direction we're going back down again. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really enjoyed myself. It's not been about the photography, I'm sorry, but you know, it's it's about more about uh, on the adventure. And I can't hear Nick now, so if he's shouting at me, I don't know what he's saying. So I'm going to make my way back over that way and uh, see if I can catch up with him. Right, we're coming back that way, Nick. <laughs> we should have bought some radios. See, I always carry my radio around, but I haven't got my radio with me. So I'm going to walk back this way. And it is quite a terrain to be walking on, but it's quite exhilarating as well. And I must be mad to be walking with the camera in my hand, but yeah, definitely not for the faint hearted up here, but it's also not impossible. Um, say again, he's shouting at me. Let me see what he's shouting. I can't hear him. <laughs> oh, I've got a woohoo. <laughs> he's buzzing with that. Nice little bit of footage. So oh, let's head back. 
and it's chilly as well. It's, I've had to put my coat on, I put my hat on, because the breeze now is changing quite a bit. But yeah, I'm gonna keep repeating myself, but, but, but all the time, try and find an easier footing so we don't drop you. Dropping a brand new camera is probably not the done thing to do. So yeah, really good. You can see, you can see the boulders and stuff here. It's absolutely fantastic. And the way they're cracked as well. I like the way all the rocks have seemed to have split apart and come apart and they're not just naturally split. They sort of split in blocks. It's quite weird. Here he is, we're back. Was that all right, boss? Brilliant, mate. Brilliant. If you just stand up there, I want to get a little bracketed shot. <laughs> he wants to get a little bracketed shot of me at the top now. So yeah, okay. It's all, it's all for this, you see. Oh, it's looking, <laughs> looking good, He's man. promised me a beer later on. Come on. <laughs> right. Look at that weather changing though. Look how quick it's coming in. It's so moody. It's so atmospheric. See, there's no light on it, but I'm still going to snap a few shots. Right, speak to you in a bit. for something sticky and that's not rude it's a little sticky bar I've been eating the top now is disappearing I'm going to take this warmer coat off I'm going to put my waterproof on because I think we're going to get a little bit damp on the way back down but while we're up here I'm going to thank Nick for bringing us up because I would never have probably come up here without his help or at least the guidance and getting us off I got me ass to come up here it's been lovely so, to have you Paul you good stuff it's been it's been good I've enjoyed it so far I'm not going to look forward to going down though few spots of rain on the front of the lens so I think that's telling me time to get my coat on. I'll speak to you somewhere on the way back down. <laughs> the wobble stone. Once oh, Mr. Row up here, didn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> the wobble stone. But it's frightened a few people in its time. Yeah. See, so I could do. I could run a time lapse going down. Thank you. 